What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my crypto journey. My name is Friday. Now, I want to talk about Cytomask and talk about a specific and particular angle that they can come from in order to defeat the top exchanges in one aspect. They can only do it in one way, but it's not going to be a total defeat. They're not going to steal all of their customers, but they could. They have the potential to steal some of their customers and make Cytomask a hub where people can go find their favorite community tokens. Yes, community tokens tokens. I'm not talking about coins. I'm not talking about Bitcoin. I'm not talking about XRP. I'm not talking about, although some of these are tokens, right? I'm not talking about Ethereum. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about community tokens with a real use case. Now, my biggest kind of critique of Cytomask is that we shouldn't be putting meme coins on there that don't have the best, excuse me, community tokens that don't have the best utility, the best use case. But Saitama Guru said, wow, 1600 responses. I will take a deep dive into the following smart contracts next week. Yeti, Cliff, Tarp, Shuna, Shaman, and Wolverine. I saw a few others as well. We'll try to circle back on those once I've had a chance to look at these ones. Thank you all for your input. Now this is very good because I see a few in here with actual real world use case like Tarp, for example. Tarp's looking to solve an issue in the cryptocurrency space when it comes to um, vetting other projects and, and giving them a stamp of approval to make Sure they don't rug pull and those sorts of things. So if Saitama, Cytomask can get projects, community token projects onto their app that solve certain projects, then it could be big and it could be a game changer. They need to do that. Now, honestly, I still don't like the fact that some of the bridges were burned with some of these top exchanges. Will we get listed on them? Probably, right? Maybe, but who knows, right? We're gonna have to see. But if Saitama can actually do things a little differently than them, then they can actually become big in their own um, sense and compete with them on a bigger level, but it's going to take that kind of work, right? It's going to take for them to get these community tokens onto their project. They can attack them from that angle because a lot of these community tokens are never going to get on Binance. They're never going to get on Coinbase, right? That's just the fact, right? If you're not Dogecoin or Shiba Inu, the chances of you getting on these big exchanges are slim to none, right? But if you can make a spot like Cytomass where you can get all these community tokens that have actual use case, that's my biggest pet peeve. They, pet peeve. they need actual use cases, then people will start to take them serious, right? Get the e news out of here, right? Get the e news out of here. Get these crazy anime tokens out of here. I mean, I know a lot of you like the anime tokens, but I think some of them are just a joke. They're not serious. And I think they're going to have huge copyright issues when they get bigger. Guys, I'm telling you, these anime companies, these like, like Piccolo Inu, Dragon Ball Z, when it comes to Inuasha, when it comes to uh, Wolverine and Disney and Marvel, I'm telling you, man, as soon as these companies, or excuse me, these community tokens get big and they start to see some traction, they're gonna get hit with a lot of copyright issues and those sorts of things now, and trademark issues. Now, I know some people are saying there's ways to get around it, but guys, you know, ent like big anime entities and Disney and, and those sorts of companies got long lawyer money. It doesn't matter. Usually it doesn't really matter when it comes to the fairness or the legitimacy. Like these people just serve you a lawsuit and sometimes it's better just to settle than going to war with some of these companies. So I see a lot of these uh, meme coins and community tokens, especially anime related, that are to get shut down down the road. It doesn't need to make sense. There's countless videos and stories of YouTubers getting their whole channels deleted just because an anime company didn't like they were using their logo or thought they were using their kind of rights or trademarks or whatever in the wrong way. And we saw what happened to Saitama. What happened to Saitama? The Everyone was hit. So many people were hit with copyright strikes and those sorts of things. Classic Crypto almost got his channel, his entire channel deleted because of wrongful copyright claims, right? It didn't matter if they were completely legit because Saitama was legit. That was fan art. Now it was close to the actual art, right? It's from a popular anime called One Punch Man. But I think this is going to create some problems down the road. All these community tokens that have their main profile, like Inuasha or Piccolo or Wolverine, I don't want to be associated with those because I don't think they're safe. That's just my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. Just my opinion. Now, this could be big. This could be big, but they have to tar that they need to come from that angle. Um, so let's check out Saitama. So Saitama's actually kind of doing okay, kind of dirtling, right? Um, plus or minus a few percent trading sideways, getting ready to blow up. Maybe when the Certic audit is done. Now, I literally check this thing every single day to see if there's any progress. Looks like there's actually not. 
Um, and I still want to get to the bottom of why this was scheduled on the 14th. Uh, that's very interesting to me, but I actually want Saitama Guru, I actually want Russ to come on my channel to do an AMA with me. Now, I'm not going to be over emotional like Slim Jesus. I'm going to ask hard, tough questions that I think a lot of the audience would like to know about. And a lot of us are Saitama holders. We want the best for the token, but I think there are some things that could use improvement. Of course, I'm not some guy who runs a multi-billion dollar community token. That's not me, but you know, I'm a YouTube personality and it'd be cool to have him on the show to ask those hard hitting questions. I'm not gonna be a fanboy. I'm not gonna have an echo chamber where everyone could just, you know, oh my God, Saitama's so great and, and not ask hard questions. I'm hopeful and bullish on this project, but we need more results, less talk, right? It has to be more results and less talk, guys. Always look at actions, never look at words. So far, a lot of the actions are not being congruent with the words. That's just my opinion. But I'd like to have him on the show to ask some questions because obviously there's a lot of big things on the horizon that we're still waiting for and they could be definitely bullish. And I just I would just like to have him on the show to ask him some questions. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Would you like to see Saitama Guru Russ on the show? Because it would be very awesome to have him here and ask those questions and just hang out with the degenerates. So let me know what you think in the comments down below and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.